Well, good morning and welcome back to Saturday morning. Glory with Lady G. How is everybody doing? Did you get your proper night's rest? You know it's important for us to get our proper night's rest so we can get up and defeat the challenges that we just might have today because you know chances are we might have some. Well, before we get into what we're getting into, let me tell you what I'm drinking. This morning, I am drinking dandelion tea. And I am drinking it in a cup that was sent to me as a gift from my bestie in, in Texas, Sharon. And it says, a true friendship is a journey without an end. And that's from my bestie. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you. And I have peppermint tea. I mean, I have dandelion tea with a drop of peppermint essential oil. So y'all, hey, let's go ahead and get into what we getting into. Y'all know them TikTok streets is running amok. It's so much going on. And a lot of times I don't get into the hip hop hoopla. I don't get into it. But I feel like today something needs to be said from Lady G. Y'all know about the lady that with the with the uh sweetly seasoned um food truck and she was blessed with 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 four thousand and eight hundred and something dollars and she was given specific instructions what to do with it and uh he put it on her on her square whatever you want to call it and he told her you know divvy it up however you can and he and, and he came on and he made clarification he being Keith Lee and he said you know what he meant was when you when it hit your square and it hit your account if you got to sell it to him cash app it to him Whatever you got to do, get it to him, right? Well, she decided that she was going to do her own thing. She was going to keep the money, pocket it. Then he, he gave her an extra $800. Everybody know the story, but I'm just giving a recap. He gave her an extra $800 so that she can, the next people in line, she can feed them free until the money ran out. Now, mind you, he gave her 1000 he gave the barber a thousand and he gave the hair braider a thousand. He left a thousand for them. And then he left an extra 800 for them to feed, give free food to the next people until the money ran out. She decided she was going to get that bag. She was out for that bag. Have you ever heard anybody say, man, I'm going, I'm, I'm going after that bag. I'm going to secure the bag. Well, in her mind, she had secured the bag. She had got the bag. Her payday had came $4,800. That was it. So she refused to divvy out the money. And it was a big old hoopla, a big old mess. And Keith Lee had to come back and give clarification because it was specific. It was clear in the beginning. It's just like the word of God. It's clear. It's concise. It's specific. But it come, what happens is when we try to put our own spin on it, when we try to put our own spin on the word, we end up wave surfing in the church. When we try to put our own spin on the word, we end up talking about growing cannabis in the church so we can, draw, we can attract black men. When we put our own spin on it, we start doing things that are out of the will of God, that are ungodly, that are unholy, and that God is not approved, does not approve. Well, how be ever I'm talking about the young, the woman with the food truck today. And I just, it, and, and what get popped in my spirit, because I don't really come on here unless the Lord put something on my heart. And what he put on my heart today was do the right thing. Because a lot of times we have a choice. We have a, we, we have a choice whether we want to do the right thing or the wrong thing. The choice is up to you, baby, whatever you choose to do. But I just want to encourage us on today in the garden to do the right thing. She did not do the right thing. She did not divvy up the money. She did not follow instruction. That's just how some of us are that consider to be Christians, consider to be godly people. Sometimes we just don't do the right thing. But I, that's for another video. But today, do the right thing. Now, I thought about this scripture. You know how we say, I'm going out to secure the bag. I'm going out and get that money. Man, I'm chasing that bag. I got the bag. Well, in her mind, she has secured the bag. She had it. And sometimes when we have a scarce mentality, we have a mentalist mentality and the little bit that we have, we we look at it as a lot and it's really not a lot. Y'all, this video is getting longer than what I thought it'd be. Let me take some of my tea, y'all, because this is good to me, y'all. So let me tell you, so she had that mentality that I got the bag. I have secured the bag. Well, in Luke, if you go with me to Luke 6 and 38, the Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you good measures, pressed down, shaken together 
and running over shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure ye meet shall be measured unto you again. So here we have a woman that was struggling and she didn't know how she was going to make ends meet. And God sends a man by that has the influence, that has the wherewithal. He has secured the bag. And he knows about the process of planting and, and harvesting and giving and receiving. So he left a financial blessing there on that business. Not only did he leave a financial blessing, but he and his wife touched and agreed and prayed over her business. So she had thought she had secured the bag. She was going from lack to luster. She was going from nothing to something, but because she didn't do the right thing, there are so many people that Keith Lee have blessed. There are so many people he have left money for. He has made a, he's gone in and God has blessed their business and turned it all the way around. People have retired. Once Keith Lee visited them, the, the favor of God is upon him. And once they visited him, once he visited them, their lives changed forever. One one lady, she sold uh, chocolate and he got some of her chocolate. He reviewed the chocolate. Guess what happened? She blew up her, her platform, her store. She, she was a teacher. She was able to retire and go ahead and run her business. Another gentleman, an old family in Vegas, my hometown, the father was diagnosed with cancer and he, he, he opened up the business. And right after he opened it up, he was diagnosed with cancer and the business was struggling. They contacted Keith Lee. He went out there and he did. He made this plea. The food was good. And guess what? People showed up and showed out. God, Lord, my heart goes out to the family. May he rest in peace. The father passed and he went in. Keith Lee did another video, asked people to come out and support him line wrapped around the building because the blessings was coming with the same measures you meet shall be measured unto you again. So here we have this woman in a food truck struggling, don't know what she going to do, how she going to make it, how she going to pay her bills. And God sends somebody by that can change her life forever. But what does she do? She fumbled the bag. So I just want to come in here and encourage you do the right thing. No matter what it looks like, no matter what people say, no matter if you think this this is my, I got the bag. I secured the bag. Do the right thing. Follow instructions. For with the same measure ye meet shall be measured unto you again. Now, I have not researched it. I do not know. But I've, I've heard different things that's happening with her business. I cannot say because I haven't seen it. But I know she's not having the turnout that she could have had. I know she's not having the business that she could have had. I know she's not obtaining that bag that she could have had because she didn't do the right thing. So I just came on here this morning to encourage you, do the right thing. Because when you do the right thing and you do it in the right spirit with the right frame of mind, and you do it according to the word of God. Because God said, I watch over my word to perform it. Had she done the right thing, it had to come back to her. It would have come back to her because he said, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measures, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measures ye meet shall be measured unto you again. So my heart goes out for them, but you just got to do the right thing. So no matter whatever's going on in your life, no matter what you encounter, I want to encourage you today to do the right thing and give and it shall be given unto you. Good measures, pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give unto your bosom. Men was going to give into her bosom. Men were going to show up at that truck and they were going to purchase that food. They were going to enjoy the food and she was going to enjoy the riches. She would have secured the bag. But because she didn't do the right thing, it turned. She turned the blessing into a curse because she didn't do the right thing. Well, y'all, it's time for me to get out of here. I want to tell you guys to have a blessed and wonderful day. And I want you to have a wonderful day. You got it on purpose. Until the next upload, I see y'all. Do the right thing. Later, y'all.